Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 31st, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick video here looking at the Volcano Activity Report and as well, Planetary Positioning for Week 4, 2022. As we have left the retrograde with Venus, Mercury has left the retrograde with Venus and the Sun. Not much is changing here over the next seven days. Looking into February 1st to 7th, Venus has left the retrograde. And now we're going to be on our own for a little bit through the rest of the winter months for 2022. We definitely saw an uptick and some changes on our planet during that retrograde with Venus and as well Mercury. Let's have a look at all of the volcanoes from across the world as there are still an active 50 volcanoes across the planet. We're going to start out here at the Aleutian Islands where we have the active Pavlov, the Great Sitkin, and as well Semisnopochnoi, and as well the Davidov Volcano, which had a seismic swarm on the 27th and continues. Overlooking Kamchatka with Shevelich Volcano, Kermiski, and as well the newly awakened Chikorotsky Volcano. And the last time this erupted was 1850. Quite a few volcanoes along this little island here. And judging by the topography of this Mount Chikorotsky, it has erupted in our time. Carry on here. South to Japan, where we have the active Aso volcano, not noted here, as well as Sakurajima and Sawisanajima. Head over into Papua New Guinea, where we have the Manam Volcano, and as well Bagana. Couple new active ones here, Oba Volcano, Shield Volcano, and as well Ambram, which was reported back in the 26th, Yasser Volcano. And of course we have Honga Tonga, Hapai. Another eruption on the 22nd, apparently. Notable earthquakes there through the Kermitic Trench. The mighty Erubus in Antarctica. Head over into Indonesia, where we have Dokono and as well Ibu Volcano. Indonesia here, Luatolo, and as well Irrawong, and just north of there, another volcano has awakened, not noted here yet. Semeru Volcano, Merapi. Barren Island Volcano. Over into Africa. Where we have the active Oldoño Langai. Nira Mirigira and as well Nira Gongo. Further north here, Urta Ale. Up into Italy, where we have the active Etna and as well Stromboli, January 18th. Most recent update there. To South America, Nevadas to Chilean. Pretty large eruption, January 7th. Sabincaya. Of course, the Wolf Volcano, the Galapagos Islands, another eruption on the 25th. Into Colombia now. Raventador and Sangue. And as well, Nevadas de Ruiz, very large eruption coming from that volcano, still 
You'll see that on the SO2 maps coming up. Turiabla. Turialba. A volcano as well. Messiah. Fuego. Many eruptions continuing. And as well, Santiaguito. And Popo in Mexico. Still pretty active. Puffs every day. Also, the active Kilauea volcano. Lava is back. And new small cone is very active. Look at that. Lake, lava lake in Kilauea is very active. Looking at infrared imagery there. A little cone on the bottom right. So that is a look at volcanoes across the planet as we have an active 50 active and erupting 50 volcanoes across the planet. Also noting 84 volcanoes that are active. So we're including all of the yellow icons as well. So yellow, orange, and red. So showing signs of rest, active, and erupting. Strong earthquakes, and volcanic activity through these red regions. Stay aware and prepared. Have a plan, everybody, because we know what one eruption can do. Like Honga Tonga sending tsunami waves across the planet, or like Krakatoa, that can cool the planet's temperature by three degrees. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide, giving you these daily updates and weekly updates on the volcanoes. Showing here the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabancaya in Peru. Chikarachki in Russia. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Batu Tara, Indonesia. This is that other volcano that has erupted 10 hours ago. The Batu Tara in Indonesia, and it is an island, very big island, the Ganung Barutara, the Combo Island. So the volcanic region is just to the west of Combo Island. Can't really see the tops here, but that is the region where this volcano has erupted. Carrying on here with Fuego in Guatemala, many eruptions recently. Sangue in Ecuador, Santa Maria, Nevadas de Chile in Colombia, Reventador, Semeru, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Era in Japan. And that is the most recent volcanoes getting update. Let's have a look at the sulfur emissions. Brought to you by Null School first. We're going to have a look at their maps. Very intense sulfur emissions across the New Madrid and up into Alberta, Manitoba. Heavy sulfur emissions all along the coast of South America. And then look at the USSR, Southeast Asia, very thick particles of SO2 as well through Indonesia. And Australia is heating up and breathing. Let's have a look at the windy SO2 wind models here. Showing the next three days. You can see large eruption over Colombia. That is the Nevadas de Ruiz uh, volcano. And as well, Terrabla. Santa Maria. Through these regions, heavy SO2. Nothing like what we were seeing a couple weeks ago with the Honga Tonga Hapai volcano. But definitely an increase in the northern hemisphere. As well, southern hemisphere. All of that SO2 finally looks like it's dissipating. Through the west coast of Australia. And then look at this large plume heading across the Pacific Ocean. Very large system coming out of Kamchatka. It's going to help bring all of that SO2 our way. 
Thanks for watching today. This has been the Volcanic Activity Report and as well planetary positioning for week four, 2022. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. 